Number 10. The Line. Location, Saudi Arabia. The line was proposed as one of the key components of NEOM and was envisioned as a 170-kilometer-long linear city with a height of 500 meters. The city's unique feature was its narrow width of just 200 meters, allowing for efficient and quick transportation within the city. The project aimed to accommodate a population of around 9 million people. The city was designed to be a radical departure from traditional urban planning, moving away from the circular layouts commonly seen in cities worldwide. The main goal of the line was to prioritize nature preservation and create an enhanced human livability experience. The city's concept aimed to integrate cutting-edge technologies and sustainable practices, promoting a high quality of life for its residents. Key features of the line were expected to include autonomous transportation systems, renewable energy sources, and a focus on green spaces and natural landscapes. The city's infrastructure and services were intended to be designed in a way that minimized environmental impact and maximized energy efficiency. Number 9. New Administrative Capital. Location, Egypt. Egypt is undertaking a significant endeavor by constructing an entirely new capital city to address the issue of congestion in its rapidly expanding current capital, Cairo. The project aims to accommodate up to 7 million people. The master plan for this privately funded venture was developed by the architecture firm SOM. The new capital city will span an impressive 700 square kilometers and will boast one of the world's largest urban parks enhancing its appeal as a modern and sustainable urban center. Similarly, Indonesia's government has also made substantial announcements regarding the construction of a new capital city. The new capital will be situated on the island of Borneo. The decision to build a new capital comes as a response to Jakarta, its current capital, facing a significant environmental challenge. Jakarta has been recognized as the world's fastest sinking city having sunk by 2.5 meters in the decade leading up to 2019. Both of these projects represent bold initiatives by their respective governments to address the urban challenges faced by their current capitals and pave the way for more sustainable and efficient living environments for their citizens. Number 8. Maldives Floating City Location, the Maldives the Maldives, like many other low-lying coastal areas, is facing the threat of rising sea levels caused by climate change. This climatic challenge has led the country's government to collaborate with the architecture practice Water Studio to develop a solution in the form of a floating city. The floating city is planned to be constructed in a lagoon near the capital and is scheduled to house 20,000 people as early as 2024. Touted as the world's first true floating island city by the architects, the project will encompass 5,000 low-rise floating homes. The city will be built on a series of hexagonal structures designed to rise along with the sea level, ensuring it remains resilient against the effects of rising water levels. In addition to the Maldives Floating City project, there is another prototype of a climate-resilient floating city being designed by Danish studio BIG in collaboration with Samu and tech company Oceanix. This project is intended for the seas off Busan, South Korea and aims to provide a sustainable and adaptable solution for future urban living in the face of climate change challenges. Both projects represent innovative approaches to address the imminent threats posed by rising sea levels, showcasing the potential of floating cities as a sustainable solution to mitigate the impact of climate change on coastal regions. Number 7. Chengdu Future City Location, Sichuan, China Dutch architecture firm OMAA has unveiled an innovative master plan for Chengdu, the capital city of China's Sichuan province. This visionary plan deviates from conventional urban models that heavily rely on road networks or maximizing floor area. Instead, OMAA's design for Chengdu Future City covers a 4.6 square kilometer site and embraces the natural rolling topography of the land. The master plan includes six distinct zones that are carefully integrated with the surrounding landscape creating a harmonious blend between the built environment and nature. A key feature of the design is the commitment to a car-free approach, encouraging sustainable and pedestrian-friendly living. To facilitate accessibility and mobility within the city, all buildings in each zone will be conveniently reachable by foot within a 10-minute walk. Additionally, 
OMEI's plan includes the implementation of a smart mobility network that will utilize automated vehicles to connect Chengdu Future City to the rest of Chengdu, enabling efficient and eco-friendly transportation. By challenging conventional urban planning norms, OMA's master plan for Chengdu Future City is an exciting example of how innovative thinking can create more sustainable, livable, and environmentally conscious urban environments. Number 5. Delosa Location, United States Danish architect Bjarke Ingels, along with his studio Big, is undertaking the master planning of Telosa, an ambitious project to build a city for 5 million people from the ground up. The location of this city is yet to be disclosed, but it is intended to be situated in the US desert. The visionary behind this endeavor is billionaire entrepreneur Mark Law, who envisions Telosa as a groundbreaking example of sustainability. His ultimate goal is to establish Telosa as the most sustainable city in the world. A crucial aspect of Lore's vision is that the land on which the city will be built will be owned by a community endowment. This unique ownership model aims to leverage increases in land value to finance the city's development, with the well-being of its residents being the top priority. Number 4. Mazdar City, United Arab Emirates the city of Mazdar, located in the United Arab Emirates near Abu Dhabi, was launched in 2006. It is part of the country's commitment to renewable energy and serves as a blueprint for future cities and a testbed for sustainable urban living. It is powered almost entirely by renewable energy sources, including one of the largest solar panel installations in the Middle East and a 10-megawatt solar power plant. Transport within the city is designed to be carbon neutral relying on public transport, electric vehicles, and personal rapid transit systems, with the layout encouraging walking and cycling to improve public health. Beyond its physical infrastructure, Mazda City is also a hub for innovation and education in the field of sustainability. It is home to the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology, which focuses on renewable energy and the environment. And number 3. Woven City, Japan the Woven City, located at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, is a project by Toyota aiming to create a fully integrated living laboratory showcasing the future of urban living. Announced in 2020 and covers a 175-acre site that was once a Toyota vehicle factory, the plan is to create a human-centered city that encourages harmonious relationships among residents, technology, and the environment. This design philosophy extends beyond transportation, aiming to weave together the fabric of a community that brings all aspects of daily life into a cohesive, sustainable system. At the heart of Woven City is a commitment to a fully sustainable infrastructure. The city plans to be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Buildings are to be primarily made from wood to minimize the carbon footprint, using traditional Japanese wood joinery techniques combined with robotic production methods. The rooftops will be covered with solar panels to generate energy that can boost the hydrogen system. Number 2. Amaravati Location India The upcoming capital city of Andhra Pradesh state in India is located along the banks of the river Krishna. The city's central focal point will be a government building topped with a striking needle-like structure. Notably, over 60% of the central district's area will be dedicated to lush green spaces and water elements. The city's design is a culmination of extensive research by Foster Plus Partners, incorporating sustainable city concepts and incorporating cutting-edge technologies currently being developed in India. Additionally, Foster Plus Partners is also involved in master planning large neighborhoods in Ho Chi Minh City and Bangkok showcasing their expertise in urban development on an international scale. Amaravati is poised to become a significant and modern urban center, designed with a focus on sustainability and greenery to enhance the quality of life for its residents. Number 1. Biodiversity Location Malaysia Big's involvement extends to another visionary project called Biodiversity a development that spans 1,821 hectares, comprising three artificial islands located off the coast of Penang Island, Malaysia. The project is being undertaken by the state government of Penang, 
The unique design of each island takes the form of lily pads and is planned to accommodate a population of 15,000 to 18,000 residents. An innovative aspect of biodiversity is its commitment to an autonomous transport network, completely eliminating the use of cars within the development. The focus on sustainability is a central theme in biodiversity. To achieve this, the buildings will predominantly utilize a combination of bamboo, timber, and concrete derived from recycled materials. Additionally, each district within the development will be surrounded by an ecological buffer zone to foster and support biodiversity in the area. This project is a promising example of eco-friendly urban planning and a testament to the innovative approaches being taken in architecture and city development to create more sustainable and nature-friendly living spaces. What are your thoughts in these mega cities? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Your engagement is the best reward for me. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.